Hello everybody, welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee, and today we're taking a look at Terra Mystica, the Atoma Solo Box. This is designed by the Atoma Factory. Um, this is the first of the Terra Mystica stuff that I guess has been put out by uh, Capstone and Foyerland um, the, since they bought out the rights to Terra Mystica. So this is interesting. Terra Mystica is often viewed as a very interactive, heavy Euro game, and so a solo mode for this is interesting. Um, it says for ages 14 plus, one or two players. So I'm guessing maybe you could play this as a, if you're playing two players, maybe as a third, you know, kind of a person. Yeah. Includes a variant to add Atoma as an additional neutral player in a two-player game because people often say, hey, this is a better three and higher player count game. So, the Atoma Solo Box and expansion allows you to play Terra Mystica alone. Play the base game or with the expansions. Ten different Atoma factions and various difficulty level challenge you to prove your skill in the world of Terra Mystica. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. We got cards. We got tiles, and that's cool. I mean, it fits right in the look of Terra Mystica. And then you got some of the large, I guess those are the faction cards. Let's read through the rule book really quick here and just kind of see what's going on. So two-player variant. Um, our artificial opponent got its name from the word automation, automaton. Okay, yeah. So um, they always explain that at the start of every... Uh, Atama booklet from this from this company. Okay, so we got designed by Lines J. Hutter, David Studley, and Morton Monrad Peterson with Mike Martins. All right, so multiple designers. I'm sure that it's not easy to come up with solo variants for complex and interactive games like this. So special rules is the Atama cards. is two main types of Atama cards, faction cards and decision cards. Other three supporting types of Atama cards are explained later. All right, so based on faction... Uh, and then you have Atoma Decision cards. Atoma Factory tends to do a decent job of not making these too difficult. Using two decision cards together, so you're going to have one on the left and one on the right. So a main card and then a support card. Interesting. That way it creates variety between the actions. You're not just flipping the same, seeing the same things over and over again. Um, okay, building the deck. You can adjust the difficulty right here. Tiebreaker, shortest distance. So yeah, I mean this is this is going to be tough, a tough game to to automate because you have to have decision tree type things here. So I'm curious if this is going to be smooth. Atoma Factory tends to make things very very simple. Um, directional selection. Okay, so based on these types of symbols, is going to tell you exactly how they're going to choose to move. You know, right to left, bottom to top, or left to right, top bottom. Um, the Atoma turn. So this is not a short rule book per se, right? It doesn't look terribly complex, but it looks like there's probably some decision trees. And it needs to explain a lot of what it's going to do, Terra Mystica being a very involved game. End game scoring, how that's going to work. And then over here is the two player rules section, uh, just in the back there. So it looks like you got to know what's going on, and then you can just kind of add it into a two player game. Doesn't seem, you know, that seems like there's very little change there. So let's just go ahead and take a look at some of these cards and everything really quick. So you see you got the punch out tiles that look very much just straight out of Terra Mystica. If you had told me that this was a component from the regular game, I would have believed you, which is a good sign, right? Um, so we got, I believe that these are faction cards. Pop these bad boys open. So you got the Simpletons, Faction Action, ooh, I like the rhyme of that, the Cuddlers, Cuddlers, Druids, I want to cuddle, Racelings, the Wanderers, the Mimics, Powermongers, Symbionts, Symbionts 2, the Blight, the Blight 2, Gonomes, <laughs> okay, so then Gonomes have specific achievement cards here, uh, and then it looks like rule summary type stuff. Interesting. So those aren't the basic factions from the base game because you have things like the land witches and the, uh, the mermaids and stuff. So it sounds like these are specific automaton factions. So they're not necessarily made to replicate uh, the ones straight from the base game. And this is an example of what a decision card is going to look like and how these two will combo up left and right side. And so... So over here, it looks like this side is going to determine how the left side is carried out. Color, 
preference and uh, map order of preference and stuff. So, very cool. I mean, like I said, the Atomic Factory tends to make their stuff followable, and so I do like their solo modes often. This one intrigues me because of how, I don't know, overwhelming it sounds like it would have to be to design this. So, that's just a quick look here at what comes inside the box of the Terra Mystica Atoma Solo Box. Thanks for coming by another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. My name is Chris Yee. Have yourselves a fantastic day.